Well, well, I don't know what to say. That last particular one, part four, <laughs> the editor went on a crazy tear there trying to be humorous and have fun, which I don't disapprove of, but we have to keep him under control <laughs> to whatever degree we can. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about uh, similar motion. And uh, no parallel fifths or octaves. In fact, that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff bothered people further out, though they were not as strict as you'd think. There are examples of Bach having parallel fifths, but as a rule, they don't like parallel fifths. And no similar motion into fifths or octaves. Also, octaves and fifths should be at least two half beats apart. Avoid parallel motion over more than three consecutive notes. The two parts should never be farther apart than a tenth as a rule. Avoid one tone being close to its musica ficta or its cross relationship. So an example of a cross relationship would be A to A flat, G to G sharp, F to F sharp, E to E flat. These are the alphabet thing is the identity tone. So that would not work. And there should be at least two half beats between such notes to make it uh, good. Okay? So the thing is, there's also an issue about clefts that if you study this music, you'll run into a lot of clefts. In, in particular, they're called C clefts or movable clefts. Now you have this thing here, and it roop, roop, you know, to circle, circle, and the center is where the C note is located. So thus, the most popular one, alto clef, would, ha would have it where in treble clef, the middle line is a B. We put a, an alto clef there, and the middle line is C. And you can have tenor clef in these different clefs, and it's a good idea for the sake of fun and amusement and being able to uh, process these different uh, types of music. Move the clef around, get used to it, have fun with it, know the notes quickly, especially on alto clef. So you just say, all right, what's the note that would be F on the treble clef? Well, it goes all the way down. It's a G. The, the lowest line is an F. So, what's the highest line? A G. What's the, the space below the highest line? An F. Etc. Etc. So, there you go. That's pretty good. <laughs>